Hello, Facebook, YouTube. Today, I want to talk to you about the reality of what Paul was talking about concerning uh, 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 concerning a thorn in his flesh. You know, he said there was a thorn in his flesh, and the idea of a thorn is a uh, is a thing that pretty much sticks on you. I think y'all know that, you know, you got a thorn. But but more likely this thorn in his flesh that he was talking about is more like a hindrance. You know, something that will hinder you. Something that will keep you from, you know, trying to go. It's kind of like walking and you walk by a, you know, a thorny bush and something and something catches you you know what i'm saying it just catches you and snatch you you know because it hooked on you and it catches you to hinder you from making progress to where you're supposed to be going and a lot of people you know and and but paul calls it a thorn as in singular it is this this one thing you know he's more like this this one thing that is hindering me from trying to accomplish the things of God. But of course he says, you know, by grace, you know, we can be, you know, that his great, God's grace is sufficient, you know, for our thorns. More likely he talks about, I think it's 2 Corinthians uh, 13, uh, or 11, I think. <laughs> but it's no, 13. Yeah, 13. I know what 11 is. 11 is the unpopular, you know, uh, chapter that talks about, you know, uh, about, you know, Satan deceiving the church and, you know, angel light and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, uh, but there's a thorn in the flesh. I think it might be 12. But there's a thorn, was a thorn in his flesh that was hindering, hindering him he's saying that to that he won't he it's tough for him to make progress to accomplish what he was you know do to him to accomplish to minister the word of God but like I said it's supposed to God's but God's is saying his grace is sufficient to help us to overcome the you know to overcome the thorn that may hinder us to accomplish the will of God. And guess what? A lot of people and a lot of ministers has a certain thorn. They have a certain hindrance, a certain, you know, thing that they're struggling with. You know what I'm saying? That is going, that is hindering them to really, you know, do the will of God. That, that certain thing, it can be, you know, anything or anybody. <laughs> yeah, anybody's can be thorns, you know, that certain person, that certain thing, you know, can hinder you from accomplishing the word of God. Now, here's the thing I want you to understand about this reality that I want you to see. Like, you know, I, I do do this illustrated reality concerning uh, uh, like a running back. You know what I'm saying? Running a football. And he's trying to... Um, you know, s s score a touchdown. I mean, he's trying to get a first down. He's trying to get a, you know, you know, uh, first down, first down to touchdown. But guess what? There's a defense that is hindering him to do that. Now it's like okay, and but this what I'm talking about the thorn is kind of like this linebacker or something on the team on the other opposing side. This, I guess, great linebacker. That every, you know, he can, you know, run this direction and get a lot of yards in this direction. But when he goes that direction, that linebacker find a way to, you know, make sure he don't get a lot of yards that he got on the other side. More likely, he can make progress, you know, here, but it's difficult to make progress there. And the thing is, that, that linebacker represents that thorn. That's that certain thing that a lot of people, you know, struggle with. Even being a minister, even being a preacher, even being, you know, whatever, to accomplish their goal. You know, that first of all, you have to 
realize what that is. You know, so you have to identify the thorn. More likely in this sense, this uh, running back has to identify that linebacker. That linebacker caused me problems. You know, I want y'all blockers to block him good or something like that. You know what I'm saying? That, that he will try to make the proper adjustments that, you know, they can get the proper progress that they can score the touchdown and fulfill the accomplishment, you know, fulfill, fulfill what needs to be done. And that's what, you know, but that's what God's grace will help you do. But understand that, you know, you might score the touchdown or whatever, but you got to get back on offense and, and that defense have to go against you and he's going to be all, he's going to be still right there, you know, next time you get on the, you know, in the field. That that thorn is going to be there. You know what I'm saying? That I'm kind of trying to show you that a lot of ministers has to understand this thorn. But it's important to know where that thorn is at. You know what I'm saying? And what is the thorn and where is that? Whatever sin or, you know, or whoever, or you know, what thing that's causing you to stumble or hinder you from really pursuing and doing the things of God you must identify that and unto God. And God will, you know, assist you as much as needed to really accomplish the certain things of God. Now, um, like, you know, Jesus Christ had the thorns on his head. You know what I'm saying? And he had the thorns on his head, you know, that was, and of course it seemed like it's, these thorns are hindering his his mind, his mind, he hindering his brain. It's hindering this hindrance of that's in his mind that you know. To me, the thorns represent the carnal mind of every individual. You know what I'm saying? That you know, there's a hindrance of how we think things. We can't think things, of course, beyond you know what we're supposed to think and see things correctly because of our carnal mind. But you know, Jesus, you know, in spite of the thorns on his uh, head, you know, endured to press towards the uh, his Mount Calvary. You know, he he try and Mount Calvary represent the place where we can allow God to you know use us. You know what I'm saying? That we know that this this direction is a takes a process. It's a process. Not see everybody's looking at this like oh. You know, I, I made it. I'm Mr. Per or Miss Perfect Christian. I made it. I did it. I made it. But guess what? No, there's no, you know, such thing of Mr. and Mrs. Perfect Christian. But there is such thing of a Christian that is going after perfection. That's going after the uh, trying to get to the place where God can elevate them to become more like him. That we can become more perfected or or more perfected as possible as much as we allow God to do that you know that we have to understand that reality but guess what thorn going to still be there the thorn is going to not leave that Paul is trying to say this thorn is not going to leave you but it's going to always be there but pray that you ask have for God to give you grace to not allow this thorn to hinder you from accomplishing the will of God in your life. That we have to be, uh, have an understanding of, you know. And the thing is, when we understand things, we start beholding things correctly and start uh, our approach of, of what we do concerning the things of God will operate, you know, more better. You know what I'm saying? We become more better each day. We improve, improve, improve. You know, in spite of our thorn, thorn, you know what I'm saying? We keep improving, improving in spite of the thorn that's going to be there. You know what I'm saying? And that's what you have to look at, this thorn of the flesh. That, you know, that this thorn is going to be there. You know what I'm saying? But yet, you're going to, by faith through grace, still accomplish what God has, you know, created you for and positioned you for in spite of this thorn. And once you continue to do that, you know what I'm saying, that thorn started, you know, well, I believe it will start, you know, not becoming a hindrance. It start wearing out, you know, I believe. And, you, you know, and you start 
you know, the more you desire to start, you know, pursuing the will of God. You know what I'm saying? Or seeking first the kingdom of God with all your heart and soul and your mind. You know what I'm saying? That, you know, it doesn't bother you. You just still focus on, like Jesus, focusing on Mount Calvary best way as possible. You know, understand about this thorn that you need assignment. You need assignment. You need somebody beside you to come in agreement of, you know, to say that I will overcome this, you know, thorn and still perform the things of God, you know, and go after righteousness. You know, you need somebody to come in agreement of that thorn. You know, it, it's very helpful, you know what I'm saying, to do that. And because I did it, you know what I'm saying? I, I come in agreement among certain people and I tell them about my thorn and, you know, uh, and that I, do, I pray that I will not allow this thorn to hinder me from accomplishing the things of God because I'm all about the will of God. More likely like the, the running back, I'm all about scoring touchdowns to win the game for the kingdom of God. I'm not all about winning for myself that, you know, I be glorified, but I'm about, you know, winning the game for the kingdom of God to be an example of the light of Christ that, you know, that people would want to desire the light of Christ to be shining abroad and with inside themselves, that that's what the whole thing is all about. It's not no contest of who's holy. You know, there's no contests in the kingdom of God. There's only examples trying to help people understand and testify of the light of Christ that, you know, this is more better than darkness. And you should get with this and not get with that. You know what I'm saying? And that's what really the agenda of Christians. There's no better, you know, better than Christian. There's a, only Christians that are striving for to get better for the purpose of reflecting the light. You know what I'm saying? That's it. You know, and that's what, you know, I, you know that's the idea of a, super, a star. We're supposed to, I call them Jesus Christ superstars. We're supposed to reflect the sun, you know what I'm saying, as much brighter we can in the midst of darkness. That for the sake of letting people know of the sun, not know of ourselves, but know of the sun, you know what I'm saying, to glorify the sun that, you know, the people will want to become a full reflection of the sun too. So that's the message. I hope you get it. I hope you don't, you know, uh, allow this thorn, you know, that even, you know, when you keep ministering, ministering, whatever, that thorn comes up. You know, I pray that you will understand and take this message and not let that thorn hinder you from you, you know, fulfilling your purpose, being made in the image and likeness of God. That, you know, you'll continue to perform the will of God and make it to the place that God wants you to be. All right. To God be the glory to him forever, ever. In Jesus name. Amen.